If you're gonna be in the game of After Effects, then you need to know how to do these five text animations. We're going to break down all of these title effects and feel free to use the chapter markers below to skip to the effect that you wanna learn. Hey everyone, this is Jordan with Sonduck Film. If you like motion graphics, consider dropping a like on this video, maybe even five, and let's get started. Remember, you can download the project files in the description to follow along. The first technique we'll be going over is this simple stroke animation for your titles. Start by right-clicking your title, then select Create, Create Shapes from Text, and a new shape layer will be created. Highlight the shape layer, then go up to Fill, set it to None, then go to Stroke, set it to Solid Color, then set the Stroke Width to 2. Now open the shape layer, click Add, Trim Paths, open the Trim Paths, set a keyframe for End at the start of the timeline, set End to 0%, move forward a bit, and increase End to 100%. Highlight the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease keyframes, open the graph editor tool and drag both sides of the curve all the way inward to smooth out the animation. And now you have this nice stroke animation for your title layer. Next up we have this cool glitch effect for your title. Start by taking your title layer, right clicking it, select pre-compose, we'll name it to glitch, and click OK. Highlight the pre-comp, go up to effect, blur and sharpen, radial blur, and effect, Channel, Shift Channels. In the Effect Control Panel, set the blur type of the radial blur to zoom. Then, for Shift Channels, set green and blue to full off. Press P for position. Alt click the stopwatch. Then, in the Expression Controls Panel, type wiggle parentheses 2, comma 5. Now, duplicate the pre comp. Set red to full off. Set green to green. Duplicate that pre comp. Set green to full off. Blue to blue. Then highlight the top two pre-comps and set their mode to Screen. Next, go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Highlight the Adjustment Layer, go up to Effect, Distort, Optics Compensation, and Effect, Transition, CC Scale Wipe. In the Effect Controls panel, set the Field of View to 130, set Reverse Lens Distortion to On, set the Stretch of the Scale Wipe to 13, set the Center of it to be on the right side of the title, like this, and change the direction to 90 degrees. I'll click the stopwatch for field of view, type in wiggle, parentheses 2, comma 40, then I'll click the stopwatch for stretch, and type in wiggle, parentheses 3, comma 20. Now you have this cool glitch effect for your title. Before we continue, you probably know that making motion graphics can sometimes be difficult and time consuming. So to fix that problem, we've made thousands of templates to help you save time and produce awesome work under one single subscription price. You can easily preview templates from any of our packs just like our motion graphics advanced pack here and just click apply. Then you can easily modify the parameters of the template and you're done. So if you're looking to get some assistance in advancing your business or career, check out every template we have with our links below. Our next technique is this infinite repeating title effect. Start by pre-composing your title layer. We'll name this one Endless, then click OK. Open up the pre-comp, then go up to Composition, Composition Settings. Here we want to change the dimensions of the pre-comp to wrap around our title, but leave a little bit of space around it like this, then click OK. Back out to the main composition, highlight the pre-comp, then go up to Effect, Stylize, Motion Tile. Increase the output width and height of the motion tile until the composition is filled with tiles like this, then set a keyframe for tile center, move to the end of the timeline, and decrease the Y value by a few hundred. Lastly, press R for rotation, set the angle to negative 45 degrees, and now you have this nice endless title animation. This next technique uses alpha mats to overlay footage onto a text animation. Here we have our text layer and behind it I have a bunch of different stock footage clips lined up to wrap around each letter of our title. For this technique you have the opportunity to be creative. You can just use a single piece of footage, you could use two and have it split down the middle, set it up however you want. Since our footage is set up the way we want it, we're going to pre-compose it. We'll name it Footage, then click OK. Next we'll animate our title, so we'll open it up, select Animate, Opacity, open the animator, Set Opacity to 0%, open the Range Selector, set a keyframe for Start, move forward a bit in the timeline, and then set Start to 100%. Now open Advanced, set Randomize Order to On, highlight the keyframes, make them Easy Ease, open the Graph Editor tool, and smooth out the animation like this. 
Our text animation is finished, so now we'll go to our footage pre-comp and set its track mat to alpha mat so that it takes the shape of our title. Lastly, to put an outline around the footage, duplicate the title layer, enable its visibility, then in the character panel, swap the fill with an outline and set the thickness to about 3. Now you have this awesome animated title made out of stock footage. Our last technique is using the echo effect to create this nice trailing effect around an animated title. Start by highlighting your title, press R for rotation, set a keyframe, set the rotation to negative 17 degrees, move to 2 seconds on the timeline, set the rotation to positive 17 degrees, then alt click the stopwatch, type in loop out, parentheses, ping pong in quotes like this, and now the rotation animation will go back and forth infinitely. Highlight the title, go up to Effect, Time, Echo. In the Effect Controls panel, set the number of echoes to 24 and the decay to 0.8. And just like that, you have this nice echo effect for your title. Be sure to check out the links down below to download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro extension that comes with 50 free templates. I hope you found this video to be helpful, and remember, always be creating.